Hi everyone, welcome to lesson one of the website masterclass. So from today to the end of February, we will learn design principles that will make a website attractive. We will also learn how to develop a smooth user experience for your website visitors. So today I'm going to go over one principle of design, which is white space. Please note that this is an overview, not a deep analysis. In fact, I'm only going to teach you guys what you need to know. Okay, so in this lesson, I will go over the definition of white space, its importance, and then do a small demonstration just to show you how to implement this principle. I'll be using a, a website builder called Weebly. You can try this on your own website platform. It's very simple. Okay, so white space is simply the black area around, inside, or between the elements of a design. Just to clarify, white space doesn't refer to just white areas in a website. The area can be in any color, pattern or texture. It is simply a blank area. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So in this diagram, the white space is the area in purple. Like I said before, it is the area around elements, such as the text, images or shapes. The black represents the actual element. For example, images, shapes, text, okay? So why is white space important? Well, one of the reasons why it's important is that it improves comprehension. So having the right amount of white space enables website visitors to read content comfortably. So the easier it is to read, the longer they will read. A recent study concluded that the use of white space between paragraphs and in the left and right margins increased comprehension by 20%. Let's see an example. So which one is more comfortable to read? The second one, right? The first one is obviously, it's all crammed together. It's very hard to read, not that comfortable to read. It's not visually pleasing at all. But the second one, you can actually read it without any hassle. So another reason why white space is important is that it increases engagement rate. So the average attention span of an internet user is six seconds, okay? Which is even less than a goldfish, which is like seven to eight seconds. Pretty mad, right? So hence we need to make sure we make this process simple for our users to focus on our call to action element. I think of the Google search page. The search bar is in the middle, surrounded by white space. Although it's not that obvious, but the white space helps the search bar become more prominent. Like this allows the user to shift their attention or focus to the actual search bar. Another reason why white space is important is that it provides a breathing room for users. So without a good amount of white space, all elements are jammed together and it can be very hard to read for your user. If you look at my presentation slides, I use a good amount of white space to make sure you guys read my content without hassle. Okay, so now that we learned the theory behind white space, now I'm going to show you how to design a section of your website using this principle. All right, you did it. You finished the first lesson of this website masterclass. Great work, guys. So what do you guys think? Did you learn anything new? Comment below and stay tuned for my next lesson, which will be on design principle of contrast. Wish you guys a pleasant day and I'll talk to you soon.